Welcome, Spikelings, to the Shark Typhoon. Mulligan well, the five land bubble two drop hand. I have awkward mana. Let's keep. I'll put back basic forest since I'm hoping to like find a red source off the Seed of Hope. The two life from Seed of Hope is so nice with uh, all the street reading in the deck too. Oh boy. Um, we'll pick up the street. Of course. Of course. I'm gonna shock here since um need to be able to cast the roots if I draw it. Nice to be at 17 after shocking, fetch shocking, and cycling a street wraith. Uh, let's. Inti's kind of close here. I have the cookbook, which is nice. I already have a red, like my red man, I kind of accounted for next turn, which is a little awkward. I guess I could discard the channel. Inti's pretty important for, like, the churn. Oh, this is just Yogg. Which is, uh,. A tough matchup. Fuck. <laughs> Eggs. There's a roots. We cast this cookbook, and if I like mill over Daredevil, then maybe play roots this turn. Second trailer is going to be kind of slow, but I'm going to discard it on my opponent's turn to cookbook for the other cookbook rather than discard now for the counter. For sideboarding against food decks, do you think hate like surgical is better than Leyline? Leyline Ley Ley of the Void, yeah. I like. I mean, against against Roots, Leyline of the Void is really good, but most most Asmo decks are not like even that cold to either. Like if you if you break up the Oval Chase Daredevil stuff, it's not that detrimental. Because they used Wall of Roots for the Young Wolf, likely has Court of Calling. I mean, there are really, like, against, against like, food decks, you want, like, Force of Vigor. You want Engineer Explosive. You want, you want, you want Hidden Suku Consumes All. These, these are the cards that, like, really, really just... Pushes in, needles in, a wire might in, <coughs> keeping the relic in, or keeping the shadow spear in. Thing is okay. I think it's cuttable. I think I think I, I just would usually cut the channelers because they're soft to bowmaster. Then down a bobble, kind of because we don't have the channelers in anymore. I think I can play extra relic. Relic is better than it used to be because of cauldron. Play two. It's not for three. Relic obviously also better because you can target yourself and trigger roots. Deck deck for inner W. Gorio's roots. Wow, Gorio's triggers roots. So does Emrakul. Which is thing. I hate these halflings. They cast almost nothing in the deck. In the I guess Palantir. I, I the half like doesn't look very good at this deck. I would, I would almost certainly not. Play. Um, really leaning on the seed of hope to find us. Street Wraith or Cookbook or uh, Urza Saga, but I think that's probably enough cards to keep. No, you can't cascade roots because all the cards that are good with roots don't let you cascade. Yeah, Gilded Goose would be better, but I I just don't think I'd play a, a mana dork in general. I'm not sure that I'd play Palantir either. But I, I kind of I get what you're doing. Palantir seems okay. 
kind of low on discard outlets too. It's like just the cookbooks. I guess you should just be playing finale, right? If they have fatal push, we're kind of cooked. But I'm gonna. I think I think playing into this turn is better. Maybe maybe Asmo. Maybe you play relic. Here, but I want to play the. I want to get back the. Daredevil with the relic potential. Pretty moving pieces. Pick three. A seed of hope. Grab another cookbook. Yeah, I, I think I think you want to play finale over over. Either Palantir or Halfling. Maybe you play like two Palantirs, but Finale like finds you Asma, which finds you Cookbook. Um, that maybe that maybe too many permanents for these Seed of Hopes though, or too many non permanents in your Seed of Hope deck. So I I I I don't exactly have a good heuristic there, but you're gonna need to hype a geometric calculator and see if it's okay. It, it's it's pretty borderline to be honest. Sure. Usually I like to leave the second Daredevil in the yard actually for. for Got that earlier. I'm gonna choose W to auto type mana. I play faster than anybody else. I, I I don't play with the keyboard. Look, I get I get to have my my hand on my cheek here while I look at chat. I don't use two hands. I'll be. I guess it, I guess either way they're gonna. Yeah, I'm not sure. You need another discard outlet. I, the finale is the best one, but then it's awkward with the hope. A cool idea for sure. Here the end. third cookbook. Get a roots. You have 21 non-land permanents. 21 lands. Well, it has, it has to be just permanents. Like what? How many? How many? How many? So I guess that's sorry, that's fifty. That's forty-eight. Like in here, we have like five total, including the seed of hopes. I I feel like this number is pretty good. I'm not I'm not sure that how comfortable I would be with a number that that's that low. To be oh, I milled my commercial just. Pop the relics. I think I'll just. Why does Yogmoth have to have pro human? Eden. Not bad at all for me. I just have all the cookbooks in the world still. Good. Pop the relic. I would have been more upset if they went over. Uh, books. Maybe there's something in their hand that's like. Is with the graveyard. Okay, game three. We'll draw this time. I drew an insidious root and a needle. So the mold is sick. Okay, good for us, of course. Call me garden. I think I'm supposed to seed of hope on turn one and not cycle the street wraith so that if I mill over Asmo or Inti, it's better for me to still have the street wraith in my hand. Maybe a little bit awkward against the Bowmaster deck. Go get Overgrown Tomb. Find a second pithing needle or a third land. Let's take the second needle. Naming like Gristin. 
Like, I can just, I can just name both here. <laughs> I, I think because that's my plan, I will just still save the street next turn. It has Court of Calling. It's always a big tell when they use Wall of this. I'll cycle the Street Wraith. No. I'm going to keep Fatal Push. Two lands. Push up. I'll push Yogg if they court for it in the turn. Oh wait. Alright, Revolt Revolt is not like Descend, right? I I Street Wraith has to go from the battlefield. So I guess if they kill my needle I can revolt. It just says you've left click up fatal push. I I did, it doesn't. It just says revolt. Left and right click. That turn was correct. Well, I mean, do you want me to not play Urza Saga this turn? I don't. I'm not sure, brother. They pick your poison, my saga. That's so rude. Well, this was a really good draw. Oh, shit. Sorry. I was playing this first to play around removal. But I guess with the oval chase in my yard, I, I should have. I should have probably just played it afterwards. Should be okay. I can even just. I only have two creatures in my yard. I, it could be it could be correct for me to just pop the relic, but then I, I lose the ability to like top deck uh, book book. Okay, here I think I'll just pop. Kind of flooding. Another surveillance first. Only one card in hand over there. Grist, hopefully it's Grist. Another Roots. I'm keeping both cards in my hand to discard for value. Reclamation Sage. Three targets in play. It was after the Gris, so I'm assuming that's the last card. Oh, no? <laughs> or two time, I guess. Double block trade also kind of surprises me. Oh, this says three times. Um, do I... I guess, I guess I'll just use the mana to move over. I... I have a hard time imagining that I really need your extra card to discard. Maybe over more cards with any. I guess I probably didn't also get the mana that badly. But it just draws a land, which is great. Then I get to uh, draw another fort too. Add limited card. Well, always pretty happy to just like kind of trade for any creatures that top deck junk. I don't do it. 
I'd pay five mana. Or double. This be Yogmoth, it's kinda of like the scariest map, probably. Maybe maybe Titan. <laughs> Any chance Cabin finds a spot? Um I mean I like gingerbread cabin a lot, but our mana requirements are kind of tough for cabin. Maybe they're not that bad, but we have turn one red, turn one black, turn two, you know, turn two black. Just kind of have to have. Also, like having having like you know basic swamp is pretty nice. It's blood moon down. Don't do it, please don't. A lot of people fell into the Ren and Realm Breaker trap. I think me too. When I first read it, I thought it was a lot. That really. I'll play it. Uh, against turn one under City and Sewers, which is usually Gorios, I'm actually going to lead on Urza Saga so I can get my main. They also kept a card on top, so I, I kind of want to see what it is. Oh. Smell. Uh, so let's not. This is our fifth, fifth mill opponent of the day. Added the number of cults in the side. <laughs> Probably an okay matchup. I, I really hope I mill a Daredevil. I guess I won't discard anything. Why is mill so popular? I don't. I I, I feel like they're having like a watch party, like a an, in the Discord or something. Not quite lucky enough to mill over an oval. Maybe I'll still play roots. Like I'm just kind of likely to. Let's see what we draw. I guess. I think I'm down. I have a seed of hope. Force of negation in the main deck of mill. What a weird day today. I have nothing else to say. It's been weird. <laughs> I but although usually take up days. No players are playing a unexpected death prize of amulet. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but but also like <laughs> we haven't played against amulet one. But <laughs> imagine if I had roots and NT and blah blah. You can go play against Amulet four times and Cascade zero times. Oh, yesterday? Yeah, we, we, we played against, like, all Cascade and <laughs> all Cascade and Mill. I, there's, like, a, definitely a, a big degree of variance. Of the league. Bunch of seed. Oh, sorry, uh... Build for six more. Okay. I'm going to pop this. I think if I can find, like, Asmo. Asmo. Eating hope in the main deck. What are you doing, mill players? What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> Why? I'm going to leave this in the yard for, for roots. Uh -huh. The channeler. Along with these mill players. If we play like as if we play like Asmo plus root. Okay. I've several more looks still. There's a roots. Let's go ahead and start off with NT attack, discard a daredevil. Find another cookbook. Not bad. I get to go roots. 
trigger roots three times. I get to trigger two more times. NT is also a mandatory. Mandatory trigger, which kind of stinks. Let me just see if I have a land that can. Oh. So... I'm gonna. Uh, also, how many Asmos do I have left? I guess I should have done this first. I have one out of eleven. So two out of eleven chance to find the Asmo kill both crabs is probably fine. I'm still beating literally nothing. If if they have nothing. I don't know, like, just all surgicals or something. Kind of tough to, like, be... I, I can also be, like, non-fetch land. Okay, I did not find an Asmo. They are super dead next turn. Probably won't get there. Do you have the Emrakul on the sideboard? Emrakul very funny with Root. Did the fetch land. in shadow spear out you know hope is pretty bad in this matchup uh i'm gonna bring in bushes i'm gonna bring in haywire mine in case they have bridge i'm gonna bring in two extra relics and be 61 cards my favorite card in modern at the favorite card in modern there's someone in chat knows what my favorite card is. <laughs> but uh, what does Relic do? It, it turns off Drown. It turns off the their one mana draw three. Um, and like sometimes do things against Surgical. I, I'm not on Emrakul really. The problem is this spell bomb doesn't kill all the crap. Cookbook? Maybe it's Cookbook. Enterprising Skylag? Yeah, that's it. Thank Two ley lines? Two wars? The haywire might have been one of those. Oh, yeah, no, it's not bound phantasm. Yeah, this is our fifth middle opponent of the day. I saw Haywire might hear what I graveyard it. I think, yeah, this doesn't do anything because there's two ley lines. One. Nice to surveil that Daredevil into the graveyard for value and not bad card. There's a Tasha's. We do have an Emrakul in the deck. Not doing a lot against the Leyline, but Tasha's maybe is. Second Basic Island, 16 live. On Mill Gamer. Island Tank. One mana, one. their mill plan I guess I mean I really don't want to draw that. I guess I could have just like top topped and then shuffled away it's kind of a weird but it might have archive traps so I'm not gonna fetch too aggressively and then seems bad in the drowned visions deck yeah I don't I don't know if, I don't know if they are playing drowned visions there's they're just maybe there's just no stock mill list Third blue source, Asatasha's. Got rid of. Okay, the Emrakul tanked the Tasha's. For so, I have 35 cards left in my library. Draw another dud. Could have got the Surveillance, but I don't want to turn on the Archive Traps. Maybe waiting for. One is down to seven. Only blue mana in play. Are they mono blue? They were playing V. I guess they. Well, they played on certain other cities. Yeah, they can still drown Asmo. I 
I'm gonna pop the relic first. Maybe I should have popped. Doesn't do much. Time for five, then play this, then it's a two turn clock. There's certainly a better draw. Yeah, this is mill opponent number five on the Attack that. You conceded? You're not dead on board. What is wrong? What is you can literally top deck Atasha's and have me dead next turn. What is wrong with mill players? What is wrong with y'all? I'm just going crazy. <laughs> I guess I'm bringing in pick your poisons. The sixty. Let me go down a relic. Wait, two pick your poison. Yeah, this is all so unhinged. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we can we can keep push into NT Street Wraith, I guess. They don't have Leyline again. They do have Leyline again. Only one this time. Pretty good. Is your hand keepable? Looks a bit more keepable than last. And the last one just go to sixty-two. No, I like. I think that's maybe just too many answers to a to ley lines. I have, that's three answers to ley line. You really only want to draw one. You could though. Close. Uh, I guess I save the bobble for. I'm gonna go empty next turn. Yeah, I actually just maybe, maybe actually. I I think I really want to prioritize having the highest chance to like get rid of the slay line before they get rid of the cool because I have you know, not three answers to it. Although it'll be kind of it, so it, it'll be kind of testing like do I really want to double throw in a double street wraith next turn for that or do I want to go into with two street wraiths up and dig like they have a Tasha's. Uh, as one of their two cards, they have to have blue source Tasha's to cast it. Okay, I just drew pick. Actually, kind of easy. So if they Tasha's away my Emrakul, we may be in some trouble. But we're probably doing okay. Because they don't have that many more resources. What's the average mill cap for Tasha's? It's like super high variance, especially with like Scion of Draco. Uh, and Leyline being really popular. It must have. A little awkward. It's my end, I guess. Let's try to hit a land. Guess that worked. Okay, it was, it was let this bounce happen then. Yeah, I don't think our, our in our deck. I don't think we're very weak. To... Tasha's. I thought you were talking. Okay, we we're gonna have guaranteed delirium unless we surveil Emrakul into the yard. Right now, their hand is just a Tasha. Emrakul did go to the yard, but not exactly how I. We'll keep that. So they're going to cast Tasha's next turn. And they'll be for six. Delirium. Not very concerned with getting black mana this game again. 17 cards enter the XL zone, but Emrakul is not one of them. Not very likely for it to be in the XL zone if that many cards get flipped, but not actually impossible if it's like the last one. Play NT. We only have 20 cards in our library. Maybe I may be triggering NT too. Because we have we have Emrakul, but all okay, but if we flip Emrakul off NT, I guess that's how we lose it. 
Let's just not discard anything, I guess. Oh, uh, was that wrong? <laughs> These are deleted. It's such a weird. Now I know I have roots on top, so I can I can discard. The fifth mill opponent. Delirium probably back online at least. Not XLD. We're going back online, attacking. Yes, I guess we're not. It's still not going to. So yeah, e even if they have Tasha's, like I don't. I just I just have an Ember Cole in the deck. How could Tasha's even get me? I guess he would also get to Boro me. Could draw Naring Bridge. I have a couple more outs of that, I think. GG. GG. Fifth mill opponent of the day. What is what is going on? <laughs> you know, I spent a, a long time yesterday trying to figure out like what what are the leagues gonna look like today? What do I want to be doing? What do I want to be playing? How could I have predicted five mill opponents? Who is that smart? I guess I could have been in, in the mill discord. My ears to the pulse of the format. Okay, on a multi five, let's keep, put back the stomping ground. I'll put back the shadow sphere, I guess. Did you play the second paper? Yeah, maybe I'll play it in the Hunter Burton this weekend. Not sure. Stomping Ground Grazer. How has Roots been? Been thinking about Command Deck is popping off in 60 card formats. I think it's good in this deck, and you know, it took a while to build it, and you know, it's it's a very it's a very strong card that requires a lot of build around. I, I I know Goody. It's just it's just tough. But thank you for the feedback. Could be Amulet Titan actually. Actually, play all these cards. <laughs> okay, looks like Valakin Titan. Second stop the ground is kind of a tell, huh? Our hand's not very good. Kind of your know, classic mold of six, double street wraith hand. Come on, come on, opponent. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We, we do not need to be stopping in the attack step with your grazer. Let's go, dude. <laughs> okay, Rooster, I'll, I'll hit you up then. Opponent. <laughs> uh, still not the slowest opponent we've played against today. Roots found home with Narcomiaba, prized Amalgam Gravecrawler deck. I don't know, it's kind of tough because it's like, when you're another land, it's tough because like, in those decks I feel like you usually want your two mana cards to be like, great, like stuff that dumps stuff in your graveyard, and then like, and then what stuff in your graveyard, those are like naturally good. Having to also play a two mana enchantment feels tough. I'll take a draw step, but I, I mean, just concede. We... Don't have a main deck, Haywire Might. We're going to die to Valakit. Let's go game two. So we're going to bring in a Haywire Might and a Needle. I'm going to cut the Cling to Dust and the Shadow Spear, and that's maybe just about it. We have Asbo as an answer to Dryad. No Alpine Moons for me today. The, the, I think I think one kind of quiet thing about the metagame is that like 
red green Valakid decks are, are popping up more and more. I liked the Archdruid's Charm version I had that was kind of like more turbo cast Titan, but there's a there seems to be like a lot of viable ways to to build the archetype, which is cool. Okay, let's keep this. Put back the bobble. Turn one, go forest needle blood crypt. Turn two, oh, sorry needle one ring. Turn two, fetch blood crypt into street wraith. Um, you could play pick your poison, but it's just like haywire might and needle. I think are better against the ring, and because might is tutorable by, by saga, and then. Um, you have Asmo for Dryad, so you just don't really need Pick Your Poison so much. You just kind of like a lot of incidental answers. Red Roots and Grave Crawler decks was good, but not like Bombardment good. Yeah, I, I like I, 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 I liked the Zombie Cauldron deck when we were playing that some, and I kind of keep meaning to like play play Roots and play the Surveil one drop in that archetype, and I just um, haven't gotten around to it. But maybe I'll get around to it this week. We'll see. I'm excited for Young Dingo to come. I don't I don't know what the plans are going to be exactly. I don't know if he wants to go up to the convention center Friday, but I'll, I'll mostly try to be a good host. It's also going to be PT Bench, and then Dingo's girlfriend's going to be here. So, uh, no no stream on Saturday Sunday. I'll be playing the Hunter Burton, and then unclear if I'll be um, streaming on Friday. The MTG Mill guy really hyped it up after the BNR. Hell yeah. The dog is phenomenal. Should be a staple. Yeah, I haven't. I like actually haven't cast it yet. I'd be excited to hear that it's good. Always love Street Wraith NT. Just oh, oh, I always love Street Wraith. Street Wraith NT. Can I do it a third time? Ooh, second roots. Okay. Probably gonna not play the commercial district so I can go roots plus seed of hope next turn and try to trigger trigger the roots off the seed of hope would be cool. Is Indigo and Cali? Um, he's he's flying out. Where he's uh, staying with me for a few days for the Hunter Burton. So I didn't find a creature to trigger the roots. I think with second roots in my hand, I'm just gonna pick a bobble and then try to like. Mill dig for enablers here. Hunter Burton. It's a uh, annual charity tournament for suicide awareness and prevention that happens every year in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, I've been to like the last six or seven. It's like a really good wholesome community event. It's also like a big modern tournament. Um, usually like four or five. I don't. I don't think we've ever got up to six hundred people, but like between like four to five hundred uh, people for a modern tournament, which is you know kind of few and far between these days. I guess I, yeah, they're, they're just gonna hold up the shuffle. Yeah, it's a very, very cool event. I love to get to go. Plus, I also just am local to the, to the scene. So like, I, I always get to see like a, a lot of like the people I used to like grind magic tournaments with back in the day, are are retired and you know they've got families and stuff and, but the, but they but they make it out to the Hunter Bird most years, which is, pretty wholesome. This is gonna die to a seismic assault next turn probably, but let's dig a little bit deeper. Trigger the NT. Another seed of hope. Let's see what we draw off the Street Wraith. Okay, um yeah, yeah definitely definitely taking Asmo, trigger roots. So unfortunately you could only get one roots down first. A dedicated green black roots feet with three scene troll king. I I, ha I have it. This, my opinion is this build is the best roots build by by a pretty significant amount. I I I've, I've played a lot of roots deck. I've tried to, to build a lot of roots decks that you haven't seen off stream, and I, I, f I feel somewhat confident that this is this has been the best list I've been able to come up with. But maybe you could come up with a sick troll king roots deck. It's like, it's like troll king's not that good of a payoff for roots because troll king's just by itself a really good payoff. Like, like you have a seven six vigilance trampler. Do you also need this to trigger roots and put a plant token into play? It's it's good to go a little bit smaller with the insidious roots if that if that tracks. 
yeah, the tie bar builds felt a little not as good as I had hoped. Okay, dead inti. Surely that's just a blocker here, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a blocker here, and don't call me Shirley. So, double cheese dirt. Double cheese dirt, that will be a nice draw here. My commercial district is exiled, unfortunately. I think I'm just attacking them. These will all be like at least three power next turn. I guess I'm 26 cards deep. <laughs> Finally found a daredevil. That's what it does. They took the hits there. Do you feel four roots is correct? Uh, never, of course. Of course. They're good in multiples. Your entire deck is built around it. You want to draw as many roots as fast as possible. They're only two mana. You never want to... Yeah, yes. I would, I, would, I would legit play ten Insidious roots in this deck if I could. Or, but I would, I would build the deck differently. I would play ten, probably. Twelve, maybe. <laughs> I'd be, but the deck would be like more focused. Be, you know, different. Can you play took a crack food? I don't think I, I don't think I was that likely to die. Just like attacking, I think I think was better. Relic is an insane draw. Sorry, I don't know why I still have this stuff on my drill step. Just gonna trigger it twice here. I'm gonna pop the relic. You can mess with the red on six, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll just leave up food pop rather than play my channeler. You can crack cookbook for more triggers. Well, you have to tap to crack the cookbook, so I could either sacrifice the cookbook or just tap it without spending four mana. But and, and yes, I know I know that that triggers insidious roots, but you can't you can't do both in the same turn. All right, so probably winning this game with them only having four lands in play here. I guess they could ring me, but I, I have a needle on the ring, so like they'll just you know this just buys them a turn. Get to kill the <laughs> this this red and six is probably going down. Usually, red and six is friendly with plant plants, right? Okay, three cards in your hand. One of them is a basic mountain. If you cast Primeval Titan, you're dead. If you cast Scape Shift, you're dead. If you go land, explore, land into play, Scape Shift, maybe that was a, maybe that was a win. They want two needles. Could just name Rin and Six and and Ring. Let's just play one. Game three. Let's go. Did we ever hurt Cassie Merkel? We did. <laughs> we did against Mill. <laughs> Where they, they surgical by through the breaches and they just kept milling my Emercles and shuffling stuff back in, so we we did eventually hardcast it. It's so funny. 
Oh, and Oh, yeah, I forgot they were on Seismic Assaults. I'm kind of channel her because they're written six deck. That's good enough for a second needle to get in there. Did, yes, nice. Good looking hand, too. Let's keep. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was so adamant it would never happen. It happened, though. <laughs> It's very funny. When to pick your poison? I think we're just answering all their stuff a bit more efficiently than we need to with pick your poison. But maybe you could you could put pick your poison in this matchup. But it's like you you have you have needle is way better against ring and um, assault. I think because you could do it preemptively where they get no value out, out of it, and then you could also name Ren and Six, which Pick Your Poison can't handle. They're searchable off Saga. Hey, why am I the searchable off Saga? And like you just got to so like you just have so many incidental answers for this stuff that you just don't need Pick Your Poison. Never tried Mox Amber. I fight Mox Amber when I've had Inti, Asmo, and Ragavan in these kind of lists. I think when you have all three, Mox Amber is playable, but it's it's also just not very good. It's like. It makes it makes your like good hands better, and it makes and it's it, it, it's very easy to pick apart and like turn into turn into a uh, dark steel relic. And uh, in general, I I don't recommend playing Mox Amber unless you're you're like an Emery <laughs> Underworld Breach deck. So now that we know our opponent has Force of Vigor, hopefully we can play around that a little bit. We'll see. I'm gonna bubble myself with this uh, seed of hope. Maybe I could figure out a play. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go needle on the one ring, and then cast seed of hope after I draw this uh, this card, and then go from there. Assault is just can burn you for 12 if they get low, which is a weird part of the match, yeah. Or ring, too. Like, ring ring plus uh, assault is so sick. I'm taking Inti over Asmo. It's kind of close. <clears throat> kind of close. Of course, I'm expecting my opponent to force a vigor me here. And I think I care more about keeping the cookbook because I have the NT than I care about keeping the roots at the moment. So I'm going to lead on roots first. Sorry, I, I should be leading on NT here. It's such a hot weird game. And then kind of expect them to just force now, and if, if they do, this is kind of okay. If they don't, I, I think I, I could I could I could discard now to maybe hit Bobble. I only have two Bobbles left. They might not use Force of Negate, Force of Vigor right now. And they also have to do it in the main phase anyways. So I, I can just free roll because if they do it in my end step, I get the card next turn anyways. Never mind. So yeah, this is just right to not tap until they do something. So we don't so we don't get to use this Seed of Hope. That's okay. Um. Oh, sorry. Also, don't don't pick, don't pick up the Daredevil when you have roots in hand. I just keep like out of habit doing that. They pitched a prime time. They have three cards in their hand. Do they have a one ring? Hope not. They don't. Which is good news. To pick up my burning catacombs. Plays it. They cast another Titan next turn. We are in bad shape. I'm going to attack Rin and Six, I guess. They're at 19 life, you know. Okay, I guess I'm gonna. Do I cast two roots? I think I guess I go root saga. Because then I can go. I can go another roots, make a saga token, return two daredevils, trigger roots twice. Probably sack food in the turn. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about this. I guess. 
not that bad because it kind of means my opponent's less likely to have a payoff, which is what I need to have to be the case here. The Besage of the Saga, it's not like super ideal, but it's also kind of okay. Commercial District is just so, it's just so good in, the, in these decks. Just like they just got to freeze, scry, it's like surreal a brick into the yard, and it's just like a time walk. 30 months, 38 million years, thank you, Mr. Sari. Sure feels like it, huh? Looks like they got something, unfortunately. Maybe not. Picks up a Seiju. That's a Primeval Titan. So my Inti's gonna die. I am drawing Street Wraith, so I could I could draw I could use Street Wraith to draw into Asmo, cast Asmo, kill Titan. Then I have to deal with active Valakit. Two maybe two active Valakits plus Red and Six, which I can't really do. What's the worst possible deck to have against us? I don't know. Titan and Yogg are kind of the scarier matchups, I guess. Okay, so we, you know, we knew we were drawing Street Wraith. If there's a, exactly Asmo underneath this, so we only have two Asmos in the deck at the moment. Yeah, okay. Dedge. Okay, I think it is lunchtime. I'm glad I did the extra hour of this deck, but I'm gonna, I was going to stop here, go to lunch. Thank you for tuning in today. Back tomorrow. Tomorrow, normal stream. I think Thursday should be a normal stream. With maybe, I need to end a little bit early to pick up young Dingo from the airport. Is Dingo streaming? I could just make him explain what's happening. Because I don't know all the details. But I'll, I'll, I'll figure out exactly what the schedule is uh, later this week. No no, no weekend stream. Because we got the Hunter Burton coming up. Um, let's see, who to raid today? Let's, let's read Lord Beerus. We haven't... Uh, Lord Beerus beat us earlier today, so usually I like to pay... Pay the tax if I get defeated. Oh, let me pay out the prediction. Wait, there's a prediction? Will we play against Milligan in this league? I guess we, that didn't happen. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't... Uh, post the prediction. I'm not responsible. Oh, it didn't happen. Yeah, Beerus is great. Ha 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 